If you found this video, then you are probably looking for bags, especially for field recording or sound recording. And I don't really want to disappoint you, but a bag specific for this subject does not exist. <laughs> Before I talk more about bags, I also want to mention that Libby and I, we love making videos about sound, sound recording, field recording, traveling the world. We can already notice there is a need for it and there are people out there who are interested in sound. So feel free to subscribe to our channel because there is more from us for you. But now let's talk more about bags. Now there are bags out there and companies who are specialized in creating bags, but these are more for sound mixers or boom operators, location sound recorders. And most of these bags are made to have them in front of your body. But if it comes to an everyday bag or a backpack made for sound, I haven't found anything out there that would be perfect for what I would love to have. If you had an idea or what would your ideal bag look like, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm very curious about it. The bag that I'm using is the Low Pro Tactic and I wanna show you what I have inside and what I carry with me every day when I'm out there recording sound. So let's take a look. You know what? Let me just wear the bag really quick. So this is how it looks like when I walk around with the bag. What I like about are these straps so you can really fit them to your need of your body size. These are very stable and I tell you this because I have the bag since over two years. What it happens is if it's a little hot outside then you get really sweaty here underneath the bag so this is one thing if you just have a t-shirt on or if you have a jacket on then you get sweaty on the bag so this is one thing but the bag also comes with waterproof case so this is here so let's look inside the bag you see the zippers are very sturdy and quick and that's what i love about the bag but what's really great is that if I open the bag, it's always on the back side, anywhere in cities, in some streets, or sometimes in the forest, and I have to open the bag, then I always lay it that way on the floor. And that means it's dirty, right? But my bag's not getting dirty because it is the other side. This is one plus. If you have bags where you can open from the other side, then it's easier to access it from a professional thief. One thing that I would wish to have on another bag, and that's if it comes to the width, right? Depending on what kind of equipment you have, it gets up, 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 up. And I'm already at the, at the almost max, but there is more. And now imagine you would have another zipper here that could extend, you know, just like in a suitcase, you know, when you have all the suitcase and you can open these extension zippers. If we would have that on the bag, that would be great. And then we can go up higher. So that's about the zippers. Now let's see what we have inside and how I make this bag work for myself. So let's talk about this part. For the most people that would use it for the computer and what I have in here is the Prisor. I always put the Prisor in here, that's perfect. Here in this part, you know, when I go to restaurants, I always have my binaural sets in here. I keep this part empty right now, but normally I would have miscellaneous stuff, my SD cards or blue tech, but I looked at the footage and it doesn't look that pretty, but you get an idea. So for smaller items, this is a great part here. But now imagine we would have something more for field recording. You would open the whole thing here, you flip it, and then you have access to your shotgun microphones. That would be great, right? If there would be something like this. So that's about this part. Now let's look inside the bag and I will show you the bigger items. One of the first things that you're going to encounter is that I took out all the compartments. You know, these are the parts that we're using for lenses or for different cameras. But for me, I personally don't need them. So I took them out. So what do we have in the bag is we have our headphones, we have the Cinella, and this is great because the width of the bag is perfect and it's just on the edge, it's right on the edge. So if I had a smaller bag and you know, I bought the bag before the Cinella and when I put it in and I saw it fit, it was like whew, lucky because if not, then you had to buy a different bag. For example, 
the Vitronics, the sum that I had, I had to buy a huge suitcase because it doesn't fit in a bag like this. This is a great bag. It's very cheap. You can get it on Amazon and normally we use it for our clothing. What's so cool about this, it has two different zippers. So you can put your clothes in here and then you can zip it and you can really tighten it up. But I'm using it for the wind protection of the Cinella. So why am I doing this is if I would just put in the wind protection inside the bag, then at one point these furry hairs would stuck in the zipper. It happened to me and it takes a long time to get this out again without destroying the wind protection. And there it is. This is the smaller bag and they're all part of the same set. I will put all the links in the description down below and I'm carrying in here my hydrophone or the cable for the Sinella connected to the F6. I don't carry my sunglasses in here. What I carry is the geophone. So it's very good protected in this case. So if you have a lot of cases for your glasses, they could be great for omnidirectional microphones, lavaliers, and I also use it for the contact microphone I have. I also have the Zoom H8 always with me and I use it together with the Joby stick. Fits perfectly in the bag, zack. And you can turn it on and start recording super quick. If I don't have the F6 in the bag, then I also have the bag from KTAC. So you probably saw me already in different videos on Instagram carrying the bag here on the side. I believe this bag is discontinued. There might be another version coming out, but I have no information about this. So if you have an F6 and you don't have a KTAC bag, I do believe Orca has also a bag for the Zoom F6. So you might want to check this out if you don't want to carry your F6 in a bag all the time, but also having it easy and quick accessible on your front of your body. And we can also fit the Manfrotto Nano Pole in the bag, something I can't do with a boom pole. The boom pole would stick out, but this is perfect. And also the same with the Sinella. I had the bag already. I bought this later in uh, Iceland and it fits perfectly in the bag. So you see, there is a lot of room in this bag. So for my personal opinion, when not having a specific sound bag, this is seriously one of the best bags that you can get if you wanna record sounds and you wanna just travel more or go to places where you don't need the bag that is in the front. The bag itself has also these two compartments, left and right. I use it mostly for power banks and other cables. Sometimes I use it for my other headphones that I use, you know, the iPhone headphones, for example, or maybe you already watched one of my previous videos about stealth recording. Then you can see how I use it with the Loom OG Pro or Loom OG Micro left and right on the back. If you haven't watched this video, click on this link and then you can watch it. I want to show you two more bags that I carry around with me. And one of them has more of a sentimental value to me. And this is this one here. If you're wondering why, uh, I got this one bag direct at the motorbike company that I rented a bike in Vietnam, like almost two years ago. I did a motorbike trip from Ho Chi Minh City all the way up to Hanoi and then another month in Hanoi. And what's so cool about this, you can strap this bag in front of the motorbike between the the bar so it's very good because you can have your iPhone here or your mo mobile phone and then you have the screen right in front of you and then you can always follow the roads and it was really helpful but since I'm not on a motorbike anymore what I have in here is I'm gonna show you this tada this is the wind protection for the Rycott BBG together with the Audio Technica microphone. You see, I can fit this perfectly in the bag. The last bag that I would love to show you is from Thule. Also, it's not a sponsored video. You'll be paid for all these bags. And I use this bag mostly to carry around my computer, my hard drives, and my SD cards. It's kind of crazy when you think how much equipment you can actually fit in one of these bags. And I'm curious, what is the bag that you are using? Or do you have an ideal bag? Please let me know in the comments down below because I believe 
sound community, we need a bag that is made specific for sound recording and traveling. So let me know in the comments down below if you think the same way that I do, or maybe you think videography and photography bags are totally enough. I'm really curious to know that. So thank you so much for watching and we really hope to see you in our next video.